Hi guys, welcome to my channel, L-A-N-Y. So let's take a guess and guess what is behind me right now. So one, two, three. If you guessed Toy Kitchen, then you are correct. In this video, I'm going to take you guys along in how I organize this toy kitchen. If you guys have been with me on my channel for quite a while, you would know that two years ago, I did this type of video with my previous kitchen. And a lot of you guys enjoyed it, so I recently got my second daughter for her second birthday a new kitchen and i wanted to take you guys along on this process so let's get started also if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so here's my little mini haul yes this is target as always so some of the stuff i got is this label maker i will have to learn how to use this because i've never used this before and i got some refills for the label maker and the rest of the stuff are bins so i got four of the medium bin no handle frosted that's the type of bin this is i really love the target containers and bins and everything because they stack so well and they're not like narrowed down at the bottom wasting space that's why i always keep coming back to target now for this bigger bag i have a bigger bin this one is called L Bin with Handle Frosted. And I got four um, of these trays that are like the lids. Actually, not four, but three. I got three of these. Here's another bin with the handle. Excuse my kid in the background. She's over here running around me playing. And for these bins with the handle, I got four of them. And the last thing that's in here are these lids that go for the smaller containers. And that's it. Now, before I start, the kitchen is all empty right now. So I wanted to do a little show through of how it looks. So I got this kitchen on Wayfair and I'll post a picture over here on the side originally how it looked. All these handles and the sink were gold and I had my husband spray paint it matte black. So if you open this up over here, it has a shelf. So there's two parts, the doors close. This little box over here is the water part and it actually has ice cubes that go in here underneath here it opens up like that this is the oven part with a see-through door it has two knobs as well as over here and some kind of Timer or clock has two stove tops. This is like a farmhouse style sink. This moves. This does not move. And here's a little hanging off counter space. And the last door over here. Also, a quick thing I forgot to mention is that this fridge part is not attached so you can rearrange it however you want if you wanted this to be to one wall and this to that wall so yeah okay so here i have all the kitchen stuff 
all in a pile and I'm going to start organizing this. I'm going to start off by organizing the pots and pans, all the cooking utensils. So I'm going to sort them all into categories by sets. Okay, here are all the categories I made. This is the wooden set, the metal set, the plastic set. These are utensils from a bunch of other previous sets. And this is just a bunch of random ones. Here is the first set all in this box. Next, we're going in with the metal or stainless steel set. Previously, I had it in this container. The reason I'm not gonna be using any more of these containers, and the only reason is because they're not stackable. So, this does not work for me. Yes, I'll be using this container for something else around the house, but for this area, we're gonna be going in with this. And this is how I was able to make it all fit. Now I'm gonna put a lid on this one and stick this one on top and put it to the side. Here's our third bin and this one is for our plastic set. I am missing another tray plate like this because there was two, which is somewhere around the house. Pretty sure I'll find it later on two cups, a bunch of utensils, and a salt and pepper shaker. These are from Target, Melissa and Dog collection. And I'm gonna put it here. Actually, here's how it all fit. Put a tray on this. And now for the last set of pots and pans. This is like a bunch of different random sets. And now I'm gonna put a tray on top of each of these bins so that I can put something else on top. Because for this situation, I wanna use up all the space that I can, not leave any space wasted. And now for that little section over there that we have left, which will go in this little bin over here that says utensils. I will be redoing all the labels at the very end this, I just used a piece of scotch tape with a sharpie. And a tray to put on top. As you can see, all of these have these packaging labels. I'm not gonna be taking them off today 
because all of them rip and you have to like scrape it off with water and stuff so that's for another time now before we move on to the next part let's put these away i'm going to be storing all these pots and pans in the fridge section so two of these fit in here only on this side because on the other side it has this thing sticking out so it would be in the way now for these two it's gonna go over here where the oven is so these can actually be stacked on top of each other like that now this utensils box is gonna go right there there next is this mini brands originally this was like a container from a grocery product which i'm gonna switch out now Okay, so this container I have just for pizzas. And you'll see why, because there's like three different types of pizzas. Okay, so these are all the pizzas there is. This is one kind, this is one kind, and these are one kind. This is the little pizza tray that goes with this one. So I'm going to put them all in here. So this is how I made it all fit. Now I'm going to put a tray, a lid on, and into the kitchen. There's still a little bit of space up here if I wanted to put something small. Next is these Melissa and Doug containers it's really nice that these containers were all separate i can use them for all of the groceries so there's four of them and this will have all the bread here's gonna be the fruits and veggies the meats and a random olive oil and here will be all the dairy cheeses milk butter so this box over here has two of these slices of bread this loaf of bread and a burger bun now for the fruit there's this fish tomato orange i think that's it and then this one has a hot dog i think this is a chicken leg jumpsuit burger patty and i think this one is steak now all of these squares are gonna go into the fridge What's nice is that they're not that wide as this, so this is not in the way. And I just stack them all on top of each other. Okay, looks like that is sticking out. So just gonna have that be the top one. Like that, problem solved. Okay, I just found a banana that goes with that fruit up there. So I'm just gonna put it in there. 
Now, this is all that's left. Still. Oh, I got these stuff as well. So let's start with this egg carton. I got this at Target. These are wooden eggs. Let's see, here's one. And where is the last one? Okay, here it is. Looks like it was hiding under the mitten. Now, this can go right up there, like I said, using up all the space possible. Now, this container over here has a bunch of random produce, fruits, vegetables, anything. So, here's more stuff that goes in there. Looks like that is it. Let me put a lid on here. And this container here. Looks like this is going to be empty for the time being. Which, for the future, if, I, if they end up getting more stuff for the kitchen, it would go in here. Now let's do this coffee machine. Here's the lid. Comes with two pods. I put one into the cup so it doesn't get lost. And one I put inside. Now I'm going to take this and it's going into the fridge. I'll do it back there. Like that. Next is this baking tray with all the sweets. Donuts, ice cream, cookies, cupcakes, and I'm going to organize this all. And here it is organized. And this goes at the bottom drawer of the fridge. Right in there. So far, this is all that's going to be in this shelf. As you can see, there's a lot of space that is being unused. So right now, I'm not sure what exactly I want to do about it, but I do want to figure out a way to use this empty space that's going to waste. And here are the last things left. Let me just get everything out of the way. Let's start with these trash cans. They're gonna go over here by the coffee machine. Just like that. Now, this is what came with the kitchen. Three ice cubes, which was stored in here and a cup i just like to turn it the logo to the back so that it's nice and clean look and now these two bins go in here like that and i'm left with these Three little ones that I don't have anything to put at the moment which is fine because like I said in the future if they ever do end up getting more stuff for the kitchen it's good to have space ready like that so that's that I have a little timer here it's just gonna go like that Actually, I think I want to put it up here. And last thing is this glove. This glove is going to go down here by this bacon tree. tray. 
just like that and that is it i am done with all the stuff now it's time to go and label them all Okay, now I'm gonna go through for the last time and show you guys everything. Here are the wooden vegetables. I labeled them all so that whoever is cleaning it up knows exactly what goes in there. Here I have the metal pots and pans with a tray on top and a bunch more space up here. Coffee machine in the back two trash bins this one is the wooden pots and pans with a tray on top down here it's all these sweets with a bacon tray here's the mint tin now let me close this up oh i forgot three ice cubes in here a cup that came with this kitchen let me close this up and here we have the plastic pots and pans, other pots and pans, utensils, mini brands, pizza, and wooden eggs on top. And groceries here, which is all the random vegetables and fruits and everything. And a timer. So the rest of these are empty for future needs now let me close this off look at that okay guys so this is it for this video i hope you guys liked how i organized this kitchen if you did give it a like and if you have any questions or comments feel free to let me know down below and that is it for this video and I'll be back with more videos. Bye.